Never let it rest. Never let it rest. And say your good is your better. And your good is your better. And your better is your best. And your better is your best. Black people. Black people. You were once great. You were once great. You shall be great again. You shall be great again. Lose not faith. Lose not faith. Lose not courage. Lose not courage. Go forward. Go forward. Uplift the race. Uplift the race.
magic. Sitting up here, kid magic. Kid magic rock. Shots out. Here we go. Drink your water. Come on, come on, drink your water, but first, take your breath and drink some water. Take your breath. Take your breath and drink some water. Take your breath. Take, take your breath and drink some water. Take your breath. Drink, 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 drink. Or should I say, breathe, breathe, then drink. Take a breath. Take a breath. Grab your glass for some water. Grab your glass. Lift your picture of that water. Or a bottle. Get that picture of that water. Uh -huh. Simply pour, pour some, some water. water. Drink, 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 drink. Drink your water. Or should water. I say, lift, pour, then drink. Now move your body and drink some water. Move your body. Move your body and drink some water. Move your body. Move, move your body and drink some water. Bam. Just, Just move, move your, your body. body. Drink, 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 drink. Drink your or should water. I say, move, move, move then your body. drink. Move your body. Now raise your glass and toast your ancestors. Toast. Raise your glass and toast your ancestors. Toast. Raise your glass and toast your ancestors, toast. fam. Just raise, raise your, your glass. glass. Drink, 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 drink. Drink your water. Or should I say, raise, toast, toast. then drink. Take your breath and drink some water. Take your breath. Lift and pour yourself some water. Pour. Move your body, drink some water. Move it. Raise your glass and toast your ancestors. Breathe, lift, move, toast. But remember to stay healthy, remember the four pillars. Breathe, drink, eat, move. Drink half your weight in ounces. Eat a culture before your diet. Behave. Take your breath. Come on. Lift and pour. You can do it. Move your body. Come on. Come on. Toast your ancestors. Drink up. Come on. Drink it. Drink it. Drink it. Come on. You can do it. Come on. Drink it. Lift it. Drink it. Come on. Drink that health in. Drink. 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 Drink, drink your water. Take your breath. Lift and pull. Lift it. Move your body. Come on. Come on. Toast your ancestors. Drink. 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 Drink your water. Drink. 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 Come on. Come on. Drink your water. Take your breath. Lift it, pour. Come on, pour it. Move your body. Come on, pour. Toast your ancestors. Drink, 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 drink. What? Drink your water. Drink, 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 drink. Drink your water. Great day, great day, family. Oh, my God. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the journey, my friends and family. I want to thank each and every last one of you that's been taking the time to check out the show. Y'all have been going off on the shares, and the numbers have been jumping. I want to thank each and every last one of you. And, you know, I mean, I, I don't even know what to say. You know what I'm saying? I'm just humbled. Um, I'm, I'm glad that um, it's catching on. You know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, like I said, we have to go on and start saluting our ancestors. Many of them gave up, gave up their life and, and in some cases gave up their happiness to make sure that we would be able to be here today. 
Um, they suffered and they struggled through um, for days like this. And so hopefully um, we are taking our time to make them proud. Those of you that would like to add your ancestors to our toast list, you know what I'm saying, to the daily toast list, by all means do so. You can post them up on the timeline as we speak. Right now, we are streaming live on Facebook. We are streaming live on um, Twitch. We are streaming live on YouTube. We are streaming live on D Live right now. We also live on Instagram as well. Sitting right over here, look at the Instagram family. I want to once again thank all of you daily toasters that are checking us out. The, the movement is growing, the tribe is getting more powerful day by day. Um, I want to thank all of the supporters, as y'all can see on the receipt screen. When I throw that up, you can see the name of all the people who have been, who have been, you know, been working with the family and, and helping us build. And I want to also thank those people that's been making, making donations. So you got people who are subscribers who aren't still going to the button and clicking and donating. Family, listen. And like I said. We're going to make y'all proud with some of the stuff we doing. As a matter of fact, we got the DigiFest coming up on June 20th. Please come on in and check us out. I'm still working out some of the bugs. Um, and in between, like, my I'm, my energy is like, my energy is like, yeah. Came in yesterday and just laid down, man. And I started coughing. I'm like, what the hell? What the? Is this seasonal? Is this, what is it? Because it felt like. It felt like I was getting some flow from my sinus, and then next thing you know, it was like I was choking. I was like, oh, shit, what? <laughs> like, oh, my God, what is going on? You know what I'm saying? But it's all good. It's all good. But, family, we're going to pour these libations because we got a little bit of news to talk about. Man, I mean, it's like it's so much. It's so much fuckery and bitch and bitchcraft. We got a battle on a daily basis. All right. Um, anime got up and she was yelling at me this morning. I usually yell at them because they was late. Now she like y'all. You don't even use us no more. So I want to remind you, you are now standing in the congregation of the mighty, in the home of the stubborn minority, in the place where your hustle builds muscle. This is Giami Journey. Media. Of course, you know this is the Heart of a Simple Production. Heart of a Simple Production. And this is the Daily Toast. And I want to say great Ujuma to each and every last one of you. And of course, you know we strive, strive, strive to blow up your old paradigm. All right, let me send out this. I keep forgetting to send out the uh, Discord because I'm not doing the black signal anymore. Well, the black signal in the old way anymore. Any anybody that I'm 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 going in. I'm creating an invite for anybody right now that wants to. I'm gonna give it about. I give you one use with it. Um. That want to join our Discord. So I'm going to post that up. I'm going to post that up right now. So that those of you that want to join us on Discord. You can join us on Discord. Boom. So that you can go and get the uh, the daily. You know what I'm saying. Get what's popping off on the daily toast. You know what I'm saying. When we toast up. You know what I'm saying? And we can start communicating through the Discord because Discord is pretty, hey, it's pretty pop popular, man. I'm sitting up here like, wow, I didn't know. I didn't know what, what you could do with it. Right now, I could stream through Discord if we chose to. Um, And also, all right, let's get our, let's get our, uh, uh, our liquid. I'm going to go with the unfiltered today. I think, I think the people need a pop. You going to give us a pop this morning? Man, oh, look, oh, look, the smoke. Oh, my God. Oh my, oh, my God, look at that. Look at that. Oh. oh, it amazes me. It amazes me. 
Oh my God! Listen, so it gave us a pop. Let's see if another one will give us a pop. All right, let's try the filter. The filter. Uh, see if the filter will give us a pop. No, oh, man. All right, but it's still it's still lively. Let's see if the coffee, ginseng, the little bit I got left of that, will that give us a pop? Okay, that was nice. That was nice, coffee ginseng. You all right? All right. You, you're almost up there with the unfiltered. Let's see if the red going to give us a pop. You going to give us a pop, red? Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Okay. I, man, I love that smoke when it comes out. Well, anyway, put it on there nice and tight so we get us a pop. And I also have that grape. That grape ginger. Somebody already ordered another one of these. So I got to be clear. She want the grape ginger or do she just want ginger? I think I'm going to try a ginger one. But also, uh, a new thing that I think I'm going to try, if I could get if I could get it a little bit drier, I think I'm going to do a cola. A cola um, ambrosia. I'm going to try as a cola ambrosia. I think I could... You know, I probably could order some um, some of these cola nuts uh, ground. You know what I'm saying? Dry it a little bit more and um, throw it in there. See if we get us a nice little cola flavor. Well, anyway, we're about to do the toast. We'll call on the ancestors, then we'll have our uh, have a discussion. So let me go on over to our daily toast screen. Pull it up. Man, I love the effects. I'm just, and you know, and, and as time goes on and as young people get involved, it, it will get better and better. You know, we got the quarantine, so I can't bring my stuff out and start teaching, um, but I can start teaching online. Oh, by the way, I am putting a video, an instructional video together for those who are subscribers, because I want to make sure that you are getting everything that you're supposed to get. Um, and in your library, and I'm, fit, I'm it's coming to my attention that a lot of people don't know that they once you um, become a subscriber on um, GNJ Media or you use uh, Gumroad, that you have a library, and a lot of people don't know how to get to their library. So I'm gonna do an instructional video for that, and also um, I think I'm gonna do an instructional video to help people walk through going to our um going to our site and purchasing our gear and speaking of that let me share this with you real quick um because sister navita has put together a line of shirts for ladies and i i'm i want to make sure that we that y'all get a um opportunity to view that um gnj media it pops up like that. Click on it. Wow. So let's make sure I want to. It's going to take you right here to the site. You go up here. You got the tip button right there. You got the merch right here. I don't know why that whoops. This embed. This embed is misconfigured. Developers, please check your browser console for more info. I don't know what's going on with that. Or right, you can click merch. Or you could just go on and go down. So we're going to go into the merch. Well, also, this has our schedule on here. The schedule's kind of off. You know, it's to let you know I'm live and stuff like that. You know, got Twitter, Instagram, all that stuff on here. Um, broadcast, all right. So um, you can also contact us down here as well. But here's the merch store. We're going to go visit the store so you can see... Um, Please be patient. Our fulfillment centers are operating at 50% capacity, and there could be a delay in receiving your order. All right. But um, she got the Black Queen RBG T-shirt, and she got the Locked and Loaded T-shirt. I like this one in, in hot pink. That shit kind of that, that shit kind of sexy. Soft pink is cool, too. You know what I'm saying? Actually, I actually like that one better. But the blue look pretty good, too. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, you go and check them out. You can pick your color and you can go and walk out. You know, we got, we got the, you know, got the Daily Toaster shirt, you know. 
Uh, we got the hoodies. It ain't hoodie, hoodie season. Hell, it's even too hot for one of these right now. But I got to I gotta get me some more. Do I got to? I need a long sleeve one of these here. Okay, there it go. All right. I got to get some colors. I'm going to have to make some different colors of that. But anyway, <laughs> we got um, our, our books, little books here. You can write in and stuff like that, notebooks and stuff. And we got hats. We had shoes, but, you know, I only I got two pair right before the COVID-19 because I'm assuming that they're made in China. So let's go and get back over here to the toast. All right. Um, also, I need to double check to make sure that I'm not missing any chatter. Okay, cool. So let's go. First off. Give an honor to the creator by whatever name you choose to call that creator. We lift up our glass and we salute that creator and we say, Ashe. From there, fact, we move on to our ancestors. We got our list and we have been building it over the last four years. And once again, I want to let you know, um, um, thank you for trusting me with the ancestors. I guess, like I said, I guess I'm the keeper of the ancestors, right? The old man, the keeper of the ancestors. And I got the... I got to put on a mask. I got to find a barbershop or something. I, it, You know, I mean, it's, it's getting out of control. But, you know, hey, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. But anyway, so we're going to call on those ancestors. We lift up the glass. We salute them in advance. I'm going to go as far as I can, and then we'll go on and grab our sheet. Speaking of that, let me put this book up here so I do not forget. We have Miles Brown, Ms. Ann, Robin the Tech Center, David Herman Brown, Senior, Rosalie Tilly, Georgia William Walter, Chris Fanny Gasson, Arlene, Uncle Chris, Arfine, Cleveland and Geneva Brown, Marco Ellis, Watch Ellis, Cecil Ellis, Alvar Brown, Gina Gaines, Herman Brown II, Barbara Twiggs, Watch Ellis Jr., Katie Ellis, Nikki Ellis, Jamon Jones, Jeremiah Tappan, John Falar, Montague Pittman, Nell No More, Ex, Pat Ma, Ron, Malika Pacor, Dr. Marianne Williams, Coach Kamau, Elder Farmer, Elder Millie Dixon, Tony Clark, Pastor Yusuf Weston, Elder Ajani, Elder Ron Coleman, Elder Robert Donaldson, Alpha Bro Pro, Actor Jr., Jay Edwards, Carlisle Harris, Grace Lundy, Ines Harris, William Bill Moss, Phyllis Rose, Sterling and Lucy Wright, Dick Al Paulina, Luxa Brothers, Miss Eden Brook Crawley, Miss Marie Nelson, Mr. Frederick Crawley Sr., Miss Jerry Brunson, Mr. Lyle, with Johnson, Miss Marie McDowell, Janice Foster, Charles Jordan, Kill Smith, Walter Smith, Richard Triggs, Francis Johnson, Mary Franklin, Jimmy Williams, Daniel Ford, George Gibson, Natalie Loretta Clark, Inez McCray, Chris Clark, Frankie Justice, Katie Justice, Derek Rudderman, Virginia Rogers, Reverend Jane Smith, Lois Henderson, Calvin Spratling, Mary Elizabeth Walker, Raymond Walker Sr., Sarah Jane Carter, Michael Ford Jr., Kelly D. Russell, Susie B. Smith, Teresa Clay, Mel Dale Hodge, Mel Dale Hodge Jr., Herman Copeland, Mildred Copeland, Jenny Clay, Bird Beatty, Sal Weller, Be the Farmer, I'll go so Sue, Cheryl Harvey, I'm Charmaine, I'm Evelyn, The Oldest Hasbury, Harvey Hasbury Sr., Leonard Dickinson, T.C. Islam, Terrell Dunbar, Will Thomas, Sarah Barry, Mark Walsh, Merle B. Thorne, Pearl G. Thorne, Nadia Johnson, Florence M. Carter, Joanne Thorne, Erica Patricia Lewis, Juanita Wright, Robert Wright, George Wright, George Wright, Mary Eliza, Frederick Davis, Mary Elizabeth Rogers, May Esther Keechta Reese, Linda Watson Hammonds, Jarrell Giles Watson, Sparrow, Salemi Seva Lewis, Andrew Holmes, Percy Moore, Mildred Owens, Booker T. Bowden, Charlie Hunt, Sammy Stover, Hitter Pearson, Sergeant Thornton, Richard Thornton, Lavinia Hall, Freeman Banks, Mary Moss, Sophia Peacock, Willie Thornton, Napoleon Kenty, Mark Ramsey, Paul Ramsey, Matt Ramsey, David Ramsey, Charles E. Thornton, Frankie Quails, Urania Thornton, Bernie Quails, Ernestine Jackson, Ernestine, Ernestine Jackson, Frankie Johnson, Teresa Mormon, Leon Johnson, Charles Bell, Vivian Ramsey, S.C. E. Johnson, Derrida Johnson, Leon Johnson, James W. West, Dame, James W. West, oh, is it James Parham, Dana Jones, Henry Charles, Henry Charles, uh, Dana Jones, Henry Charles, oh my God, all right, I'm working on it, family, all right, <clears throat> so we are Dana Jones, oh, James Parham, we at, we're, right about here all right so we had uh james w west senior james parham dana jones henry world james farmer major Chavez, leon grace bessie johnson Helen Lester, may moreland paul moreland elder caleb rosemary martinier elder armitage wellman fred douglas trick senior number tricks thomas and lula berry lisa i don't know how frank russell and davis Fred Douglas Strick II, Bina Triggs, Reverend Eddie Moore, Helen Fuller, Eugene Jackson Sr., Richard Ellis, Silas Alexander, Charles Maxwell, Percy M. Alexander, Arthur Reynolds, Stanley Lockhart, Ricky Lockhart, William Lockhart, Woodrow Lockhart, Brenda Porter, Deacon Hargrove, Carla Sawyer, Andrew Parker, Doris Donald, Ellis Murphy, Demika Russell, Dimon Aries, Gina Ruth Jones, Jana Callahan, 
We are now at William Walter West, Najla Parrish, Elder Basiki Filani, Jim Robinson, Gladys Johnson, Valerie Clark, John and Mary Sullivan, Dirk Johnson, Antonio Johnson, Denise Waters, Defridis Hines, Anis Bostic, Edna Bostic, Winifred Scannerberry, Wilson Haley, Alma Hines, Phyllis Lee, Eugene Spradling, Kevin Spradling, Charles Wooden, Penny Brown, Roy Lee, Print Up Jr., Mary Johnson, Wilbur Longmire, Ethan Candy, Janice Carter, Michael Carter, Leon Pina Carter, Margaret Carter, William Carter, Lisa Jordan, Charles Lee Mosley, Dorothy R. Blair, Ransom Ever Sr., Sam Ever Sr., Nalon Blair Sr., Edward Stevens, Sue Ann Stevens, Joe Davis, Timothy Butler, Gene Holmes, Daniel Jones, Peter Charles, Christy Nichols, Cardinal Robinson, Rosemary Charles, Ada Pearl, Bob Ingram, Ingles, Jack Wallace, Warren M. Finch, Warren P. Finch, Tim Ingles, Audrey Finch, William Billingsley Jr., Jennifer Sensabaugh, Hazel Gasson, Jerry Jennifer Sensabaugh, Hazel Gasson, Jerry Brownley, Brian Watson Jr., Kaniko Parsons, Jason Cathy, Bradford, Thomas Bradley, also known as Uncle Buki, also known as Gypsy, Reverend Roosevelt Word, the first stage. Stacey Trice, Frank Smith, Mother Bertha, Michael Leonard, David Brown, Ruth Carter, June Cox, Ruth Cox, Paula Cox, Ronald Urban, Judy Hubbard, Irene Johnson, Francis Boots Jefferson, Dan Wilkinson Sr., Emma McClendon, Jerry Doyle, Mina Robinson, Mary Nichols, Patricia Williams, Shabaka Ture, Gray G2 Gibson, Donna Hill, Richard Gleavis, Lee Irby, Tommy Irby, Boy Irby, Jim Groshe, George, and Hallie Johnson, Archie and Margaret Armstead, Diane Scott, Erica Armstrong, Claire Fox, Gene Evans, Archie Beck, Anna McGill, Charles McDaniel, Christine Cottrell, I'm Becca Alessandro, Arthur Arnold, Hattie Reed, Charles Reed, Eula, and Eula and Andrew Baker, Patricia and Edwin Brooks, Gwendolyn and Bob Hatch, Kimball Vernon, Bradley Kim, Janie Harry, Tubman Case, Mrs. Sturgis, Sally Mae Baker, Ethel Baker, Creola Baker, Geneva Baker, Aaron Eno, Baby Hatch, Chet Senior, Mally Miller, Housie Hatch, Dad Cleveland, Mother Gibson, Alex Nixon, John Bowie, Lester and Rachel Saunders, Dorita Ross, Riola Ross, Robert Nelson, Fred Stevenson, Leroy Stokes, Neely Johnson, Fletcher Swan, Maddie and Charlie Scott, Audie Casey, Thomas Coper, Vivian Stevenson, Mona Ann Lewis, Cornetta Lyman Lewis, John Jackson, William Dallas Lewis, Mary Francis, Chappelle Jackson, Michael Slade. Michael Slade, Joanne Perkins, Richard Jackson, Martha Ford Dawson, Big Mama, Nanny Harris, Eva Ford, James Harrison, Margaret Towns, Mary Williams, <coughs> Leroy Q. Heap Sr., Albert Moore, Miss Vanilla, Abbas Motley, Geraldine, Elizabeth, Douglas Thompson, Earthton Houston, Lud Alls, Elijah Alls, Jerome Alls, and West Staten, Joe Jamel, Alls, and Pierce, Donald Carter, Lily Green, Nathan Green, Beth Vaughn, John Dewey, Ruth Beer, Tim Butler, Ramey Laura Newton, J.B. Foggy, Thomas Newton Sr., Baba Naeem, Jeanette Sanders, Jerry C. Sanders, Roy Poor, H. J. Brantley Sr., Henry Wilson, Rufus Jenkins, Minnie Wilson, Captain Sanders, Muriel Ellis, Elizabeth Sanders, Henrietta Irby, Mildred Armstead, Margaret Armstead, Catherine Anthony, Ruby Brown, Charles Walker Sr., Charlie Walker, Cecil Russell, Diane Irvin, Harun Phillips, William Ford, Margaret Logan, Phyllis Barnett, Lee Irvin Sr., Michael Irvin, Ozella Watson, Hugo Watson, John Carwell Sr., Robert Lee Carwell, Nevaeh Mitchell, Ron McCormick Sr., Sr., Sabrina Easley, Rashawn Easley, Javan McCormick, Robert Ann, Reed, Dorothy Ann Reed, John Reed, Shekamaha Reed Jr., John Reed Jr., Patricia Reed, Edward R. Benson Sr., Ethel H. McNair, Lois Fernandez, Jacqueline Broaddus, Reginald Oliver, Mazarin Coper, Joyce Wan, and Monia Grayson, Charles Scott, Charles A. Scott, Michael Morgan, Charlene Morgan, Sybil Edwards McNabb, Annie Ferguson, um, Annie Ferguson, William Ferguson, Shelby McClendon. We have Joella Giles. We have James Carswell. We have Liberta Adams, also known as Aunt Sis. We got Elder Shaka McNair, Anthony Brown, Jonathan Ford, Lottie Gaucher. Cousin Tony, Michael Johnson, James, Jimmy Johnson, Barbara Shane Lewis, Ronald Sheldon Jr., Damian Top, Westina Banks, Joseph Bingham, Quincy, Mama, Aunt Lady, Mama, Aunt Lady, Abraham Isaac Condom, Aunt Barbara Lewis, Renee Johnson, Joy, Ryan Ross Riggins, Jamonte, Marcus Price, Ness Words, Marshawn McCarroll, Demetrius Beard, Herb Jefferson, Ralph Mickens, Eric Walker, Quasi Sample, Candace Simmons, Severin Clayton, Leonard Jones, Sadi Garner, Melvin Scott Sr., Edward Clarence Lumpkin, Elizabeth Johnson, Frank Smith, Stacey Trice, Denise Gray, Nathaniel Hassan Turner, Khaled is in transition, also known as Nigel Turner, Demetrius Lewis Flynn, Alberta Woods, Geneva Simmons, Daniel Tilly, Angeline Gant, Sharifa, Oscar Carey, and Audrey Griffith, Dominique Nichols, Ruthie Lane Johnson, Teresa Sambu, Aunt Maxine, Uncle James, Henry Munger III, Tamara Dowdy, Nicole Harris, Julia Taylor, Taylor, Richard Bozeman II, Ruth Carter, John Carter, Mr. Thornton, Jasandra Lynette Lewis, Anderson Mosley, Charles Jordan, Henry S. II, Fanny L. Webb, Dan Walton, Al T. Sue Walton, Emma Walton, James Randolph Giles, Sonny Pete Walton, William Walton, Fred Powers. We got Elijah Juan, Hakeem and Como, Alberta T. Davis, Charles Davis, Willie R. Mackey, also known as Dr. Creamy Mackey, Victor Bowden, Trusilla Kitty Berger, Lucy White, Robert Lee White, Emma Jean White, Talton, Roger White, R.L. White, Jesse White, Ruby Jewel White, Johnson Carl White, Desi Woods, T.L.R. Woods, Lennox, Jim Woods, Lizzie Woods, Juanita Alexander Brown, Cynthia Ann Wright, Richard Dorsey, Annie Simpson, Jamara Simpson, Regina Hopkins, Joseph Simpson, Nettie Dorsey, Eleanor Hopkins, Edward Webster, Alice Webster, Ivy Webster, Arnella Willis, Ethel Lane, Samantha DeMond, Ethel Marshall, 
Steve Ducky Shelton, William Bill Walker, Carl Rico Johnson, Kim Grace, Stuart A. Johnson, Edward Young III, Isaac Jackson Sr., Drusilla Murrow, Wayne Young, Christina Young, Thomas Young, Frank Murrow, Sylvester Foster, James and Lizzie Winston, Abe and Julia Lawrence, Ozell Leathers Sr., Gladys Coper, Ozell Leathers Jr., Geneva Jackson, R.J. Lacey, also known as Tooth the Don. We got Sabra Winston, Chris Kinney, Margaret Minter, Mary Smith, Juanita Florine Smith Gibbs, Carl William Duncan Jr., Janet Callahan, Danny Hill, Miko D. Nice Hill, Andre Martin, Mabel Williams, Terry Brown, Teresa Biddle, Lavonda Kincaid, Carla Sawyer, Reverend Jesse Porter, Deacon Ezekiel Dennis, Brenda Porter, Craig Lee Jones, Granny Beulah, Papa Al Riesling, Inez Smith, the George Gamble Sr., Joseph Garrett, LaShonda Jamar, Leroy Riley. We got Ma, uh, Mona, Yolanda Hunter, and Yvonne Patrice Turner family. Once again, we lift up our glass. It looked like, oh my God, it looked like PayPal and charged me for something else. Um, we lift up our glass and we salute our ancestors and we say, Ashe. Okay. Netflix bill. We lift it up and we say Ashe from their family. Where do we go? Where do we go? Where do we go? We go into the present moment. Family, we are now. Right here, right now, in the present moment. As you know, you know, like a brother I tell, we know we in the present moment, brother. You ain't got to tell us, but I need to remind you, right? Because oftentimes this world try to keep us trapped in the past or keep us fearing the future or looking forward to the future rather than us being grounded in this moment, in this space and time, and really looking at the power that we have and being able to look at, at at the humble status that we actually have when you really look at the moment and you see all the stuff happening around you you can't help but to be humble but at the same time you have been put in a critical space a critical time right and you have the power to make change good morning to Sabrias. long time no see how you doing this morning um, so we lift up our glass, family. We lift up our glass to salute this moment. We are in Ujamaa. I want to give all of the Ujamaa babies a round of applause. Yeah. Shout out to those Ujamaa babies. Man. Yes, indeed. All right. Um, so, family, I want to ask you, as I usually do, um, open up your reticular formations and I want you to go out and look for your principles because they're out there. I want you to look for Ujima because Ujima is the principle of the day. I want you to get out there. I want you to find Ujima. When you find Ujima, share it with us on Giami Journey. Share it with the world. Hashtag Ujima. Hashtag Ujima found. Hashtag Ujima in action. Hashtag Ujima in motion. Hashtag Ujima captured. Right? Share it up there. We have to start posting our principles. We have to start seeking out our principles, family. Um, so um, so for those that don't speak the language, and if you don't speak the language, you might want to go to free gnjecourse.com, get up with us, or catch us, catch some catch some of the scenes on Digi TV. Because I'm I'm streaming a lot of stuff on Digi TV during the day. You can hear or sometimes you can see because yesterday I put together a video, a video um, piece that was that's easier for me to control. I was trying to do the videos for the other days as well, but it's easier to stream it with the podcast because with the video, it got to render the video. It got to pull it through OBS and then it goes through my OBS and then it shoots out to the cloud and it goes to the cloud and it renders it and it shoots it out and it was causing a lot of complications. So I said, hey, I got all that tape. Let's just go on and post up pictures and just do the uh, the uh, do a podcast. Well, anyway, for those that don't know, Ujima means cooperative economics. Um, the uh, mathematic principle for the day is reciprocity. Gratitude is the principle of the day. Green is the color. Polarity is the hermetic law. Male name for the day is Yao. Female name is Ya. 
And I want to, I want to, I want to, I want to, um, to, to get you to notice this. If you notice the rest of the days, the male names start with K and the female names start with A, except on Ujima. On Ujima, both names start with a Y. And that leads us to a question of why. Now, if you catch some of the older shows, we kind of discussed it. And maybe if we have time, we'll, you know what I'm saying? Because you know what I'm saying. You know, and if somebody show interest, we could throw, we could go and start that whole discussion over again. All right? Um, test. Oh, what's up, Sister Tiandra? How you doing today? Thank you for joining us. All right, so, family, so we lift up our glass for this present moment, realizing the great power that we have in this moment but also realizing our, the humbleness. As I tell you all the time, my older brother, um, Chief Albino, told me, he said, Brother Hatim, in the Creator's eyes, we are no higher than the blade of grass and no lower than his roots. I said, I said damn, let me write that down. I'm still in that. We are no higher than the blade of grass and we are no lower than his roots. So at the same time, we are very, we're very important, but at the same time, you know what I'm saying? We have to maintain that humbleness, but still recognize our, our power and our ability to be an agent of change, to be an agent of peace, to be an agent of love in this moment. But we can't be those things if we're caught in the past and if we're fretting the future. We have to be present. Presence only happens in the moment. All right, so family, um, we lift our glass to salute this moment, realizing that we have a pact with our ancestors because they left us a gift called space and time. You know what I'm saying? And it's our job to defend it and expand it and also add into that space and time some resources so that we can have something to pass on to our future generations. So we salute this moment. And I salute each one of you in a moment, and we say, I say, from their family, we move to our future generations. We lift our glass up to our children, our children's children, on to infinity. Family, as I stated, we are responsible for protecting the space and time that was sent to us and being able to transfer it to the future generations. So let's do it, all right? So we lift up our glass to our children, our children's children, on to infinity, and we say, I say, from their family, where do we go? It's a very simple step. We move from there to all of our relations, and we lift that glass, and we say our shade. From all of our relations, where do we go? We go to that selfish toast. This is for you. What is it that you need in this moment? Those of you that are givers, because a lot of y'all, a lot of people that's, that's covered the Giami journey are givers. You out there working. You out there, you out there doing your business. You out there handling, handling life, um, and you're giving, giving, giving. What is it that you need in this moment right now? Why we called all these ancestors, we called all of, we called the creator. You know what I'm saying? We got the past, the future, and the present right now. What is it that you need? While all this energy is flowing around you and you are conscious of it, what is it that you need in this moment? Oftentimes I forget to ask for what I need because I'm like, <laughs> I'm caught up in a toast. Well, anyway, we lift up our glass and we say, I say, from their family, Last but not least, I want to salute the most magnificent, the most marvelous, the most beautiful, the most uplifting, the most inspiring, the most powerful, and the wisest individual in the room. I raise my glass up to you, and we say, I say, I say, I say. Family, I wish you peace, power, joy, and 100 years. Let's go and sip. Let's see how it tastes. Oh, man. This the unfiltered. Y'all know I like my stuff unfiltered. So let's get to this news. Before we get to the news, before we get to the news, family. Oh. What, the names ain't on the receipt wall? Hmm. I thought I put it on the receipt wall. I guess I didn't. All right. So, um, but anyway, let's go, let's go to this wall right here. 
and I want to go through and I want to salute all those that are help, um, that are supporters. We got Ori Pianchi, we got Olivia Spikes, we got Alumala, we got L Loretta Burroughs, we got Mama Margarita, we got the Kelsey family, we got Elder Tony and Aziza West, we got Elder Phil Hines, we got Elder Phyllis Hairston Ransom, we got Charles Campbell, Katie Shechem uh, and Ankh Major, we got Elder Alona Edwards, Madonna Hill, Lisa Ty, Don McDougal, Charles Steven, Stevenson, and Khalif and Khalifa Judge. We also have Angela Mateen. We got Yolanda Brooks. We got the legendary Larry F. Crow. And we got Sapphire Spirit. So we had so many people that I had to break off and make another list. We got so many people that I had to break off and make another list. Family, I mean, y'all, y'all showing out. For those that are interested in becoming supporters, it's a very easy step that you could do. And I am going to do a video to show people how, because I understand some people are having problems doing it. All right. Some people are having problems doing it. So I will do a video to show how to do it. But for those that know how to do it, you just go to the gum roll and, you know, you can support us with for as little as $10 a month. But before we move to the news, I want to make sure y'all know that, like I said, depending on how I feel tonight, unfortunately, because like I said, my it, it's like I'm out of my body right now. I don't know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? But actually, I do know what's going on. I was supposed to be doing my fast. I pushed my fast um, till after the DigiFast because I really, really be suffering in the, the because I do a 21-day challenge. Um, like, you know, other, we got the, what we call the Goose and Challenge. And I break mine up into three weeks. I do three weeks of seven. The first seven days, I'm doing juice and water. Um, the next seven days, well, the next seven days is broken up in two parts. I do two days of water, three days of nothing but air, and then two days of water. Which brings me into my third week, which I go back to water and juice, which phases me back in to being able to, you know, to eat. So, um, so like, so in the first week, I'm like, I'm doing miso soups because that's, that's a liquid. I'm doing, uh, I'm a, of course able to drink the ambrosia and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? And start helping, help, help my body heal. So I'm, I'm on, I'm going to shoot. To start on, it will be Umoja the 22nd, June the 22nd. So if anybody want to join me, and you don't have to be extreme as me. You understand what I'm saying? But if anybody want to join in the seven in the 21-day challenge, by all means, by all means, we're going to be, you know, we're going to be hooking up here on Gianni Journey on those days, of course. And we're going to be be able to have discussions about what's going on, what, what is the challenge, blah, blah, blah. What You know what I'm What are you learning? Um, we have, I got to pull out the uh, the sheets so that I can start tracking that as I'm going because it, it, do, it does no good to do a 21-day challenge to do a Google Cyber Challenge and don't get the lessons that's coming to you and, and writing them down. Right. And once again, before I get into this family, I want to thank y'all for liking and sharing, subscribing. I mean, because we have pushed well over a thousand and I'm like, man, you know what I'm saying? And I, 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 I like I said, once again, I'm humble. I thank you all the time. Happy Ujima to you as well, Miss Sheila. Oh, man. All right. Now, so tonight we have tribal quotes. Tonight we have tribal quotes. I hope you're still enjoying that um uh, that ambrosia. Um, I don't know how that popped up after you. But anyway, um, so here we go. Tonight we are doing. Now I have we, the family got another book coming out. Terra Hassa. Years ago, I came up with an idea to do a workbook for the African openers to the Tree of Life. Terra Hassa, I mean, I'm talking about 15 years. I'm on, I'm going to do it. I started writing on it. This before, the, I mean, some of y'all, it, it might be hard for some of y'all to really believe that, you know, there was a time where you couldn't just do everything on a computer, right? So when I wanted to do the book, 
you know, I, we didn't have access to uh, the computers like now, right? I mean, it was it was crazy, right? So when I said I was going to do it, I didn't do it. So, you know, 15 years later, Terry House is like, man, I'm tired of waiting on you. You know what I'm saying? So she go out and she created a handbook, a workbook for the African openness to the tree of life so that we could go over the questions and do it. So um, I'm going to be incorporating that because I, I'm going to do it in a digital form and we're going to have it in a hardback copy where um, you said there's a little static. Huh. Let me check. Let me see what's going on here. Check one, check two, check. Yeah, there ain't no little static. Not for the amount I pay. Hold on. There is no little static. Hold on. What's going on here, Mike? Mike, you need to get on your job. Let's see if it going away. Don't sound like it's plugged in all the way. Oh my God. I don't know what's going on. You know what? I think I might need to go on to shut this thing off and start over. But we ain't going to do it right now. I need to go and reset the whole system. Um, and I need to get all these bugs worked out before we go to uh, DigiFest. All right, so I apologize for the static. Thank you for letting me know, Miss Sheila. All right, now, family, also, um, DigiFest. It was something about DigiFest that I wanted to tell y'all. It will be on June 20th from 12 to 6 p.m. Of course, I'm not expecting y'all to sit in front of y'all devices for the whole time, but we will be putting out a schedule so that you know what to catch. Um, Brother Greg Carr will be, um, will be coming on. We're going to have Dr. Kelsey, of course. Um, Elder Tony going to do a couple, going to say a couple, you know, he's going to do the opening drum call. And we know that Elder Tony not only is going to lay it out with the drum, we're trying to do a national piece. So I got a lot of stuff that I'm working on. So he came over on, I think it was on Coogee. And we started trying to um, figure out how, to get this link to work. So I'm, I'm reaching out to Synapse to see if he could give me a little bit more instructions so I can make it a little bit clearer. And also, that's what I want to say. This weekend on Imani, we will be having our per onk, and it's going to be nice. So y'all need to come on through, check it out. Um, that's what we do in lieu of the toast. It's still a toast because the um, libations ancestors are recognized there. So um, come on through and check it out. But anyway, for the night show. We are on, all right, so we didn't cover the secret to opening every door is in his boat, said the knowledge holders, the boat prescribes the, the exact medium, all right, so when we're going we gonna to work on that one a little bit, so let me go, if my daughters have were kind enough to leave me a pen because they always come through and grab my stuff. So I'm going to put 611. Oh, man, we only 10 days away from, no, we nine days away from um, DigiFest. 61120. See, I've been I've been marking them up a book, and as you see, Sasha has been experimenting with writing, and writing on my book. But I do have a new one. Um, and as I told y'all, when I told y'all to buy them, nobody listened. Now they up to $150 a piece. So, but the workbook will be coming out and we will be making the workbook available. Um, I, I am arranging, I still have to arrange an interview with Dr. Kelsey so he can get on, um, prior to DigiFest. Um, so we can talk about his 11 steps as well as his, his next book that will be dropping around his birthday. Um, then also, I want to get Terra House on so we can talk about some of the projects she got going on. And, of course, I want to bring John back. 
And of course, we still miss. We need to bring Mr. Um, Mr. Charles Campbell back so that he could finish talking about um, his book and some other projects that he's working on, as well as um, talk about because he recently posted an article up, um, and I shared it on our timeline about some of the changes that he believes that some of the civil rights organizations, as well as the fraternities, can make. Well, anyway. So the first proverb for the night is the secret to open every doors in this boat. Say the knowledge holders, the boat prescribes the exact medium. So um, that one's going to be a little bit complicated. You know what I'm saying? Because it's words like, you know, if you're not a locksmith, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, anyway. In the original name, the next one, in the original name is the essence. Say the knowledge holders. In the original name is the essence says the knowledge holders that's gonna be a powerful one right there all right and the last one the true temple is the holding place of cosmic law say the knowledge holders all right so those are the three that we will be discussing tonight so family i'm looking forward to seeing you if all goes well if i survive the day because i feel a cough <laughs> coming on uh, I think Marcus Garvey might be trying to take me out too. You know, because y'all know I don't call it the coronavirus. I call it Marcus Garvey virus. Because Marcus said he was coming back with 100 million countless Africans to bring us into victory. And Lord have mercy. What's going on? Anyway, shut down and shut down the whole damn system. Got everybody like, wow. Then on, then on top of that, along with this virus, what happened? You know, we had other stuff. All right, so let's go and switch over. All right, there you go. Those that ain't seen it. Oh, I forgot to. I'm sorry. Let's go to our Giami Journey page. Y'all can go and like, a, like the page if you would. Go and click the bell so that you know when I'm coming on. You can do the same thing on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Um, But here you go. Right here. So, let's go to the news. This was a lot of, lot of articles that I posted yesterday. But anyway. Oh, there we go. Phil Corp coming on. Nine engagement. Nine, nine people reach one engagement. All right. Boom. We got two people on Facebook right now. We got 34 people reach. Eight engagement. Six comments. All right, thank you, family, for the support. Remember to like and share. All right, so here's something in the news for you. Just, just when you thought you could meet and talk about what you wanted to on Zoom, Zoom shuts account of U.S.-based right group after Tina Man anniversary meeting. It was a group of people that was meeting on the anniversary of Tiananmen Square, and Zoom you know, Zoom, shut that shit down. You know what I'm saying? China, see, and and how can I put it? China is a government institution, and they want to make sure that their story is framed properly. So they protect their, their story very aggressively, and um, and they shut shit down over there. See, one of the, one of the key pieces that a lot, a lot of people don't, don't really understand is how a lot of this western imperialism works because they infect you with all this different stuff and you people are like well they should be able to have free free expression and all that everybody's not western everybody don't think like us and just because it works in some ways for us does not mean that it works for all groups in all societies or or is even allowed so zoom ran up against they zoomed right into china and got their ass handed to them you know what i'm saying because china's like you will not bring this disruption here because china got borders and i've been constantly talking to my people about maintaining borders talking about us building borders in our personal in our family 
in our tribe life, in our communities. We are a borderless people, so people could just walk in and take advantage of us and walk out. And we have to kind of be, we have to be kind of stringent about our borders and about what we allow. Especially into those areas that we directly control, like our homes. Right now, anything goes. Anything goes. And you can't really build a healthy society or even raise healthy children where anything goes. You you understand what I'm saying? So, um, you know, China taught us a lesson. We might not agree with the lesson, but China, let, you come into my house, take off your goddamn shoes. I don't care about your hat. Remove your shoes, bow at the door, and enter humbly and quietly. A true lesson in nation nation maintaining there you know because like we talk about nation building all the time but it's only so long that you're supposed to be building after you build you have to start focusing on maintaining so i you know like i said you know and gee i mean I, i'm i've been throwing an idea out but you, you know we some of us got to move before we move to an elder state we got to move into a nation maintaining state we're not only are we able, well, we are able to kind of coach some of the, the young nation builders or the young or the new nation builders, but start developing strategies so that we can hold on to what we get. You understand what I'm saying? Um, here we go. Um, daily toast. Um, okay, yeah. To, oh, yeah. Civil Rights Act of 2020 Civil um, oh, this is a good one. Now, this shit right here is getting on my nerves. This kneeling shit, taking a knee. When it was the knee to cute homeboy, I, I understand the gesture. And a lot of people are getting caught up in the symbolism of the moment. We don't need to get caught up in the symbols, the symbol of the moment. We need to get caught up in the power and the possibility of, of the moment. And this is what this New York Times article is about. This is an opinion piece. Let's go and read through this real quick. This is by um, Charles M. Blow, opinion columnist. Let's see how he starts this. So now, I. Y'all, did y'all just see that? I seen it. It was quick. It. It tried to move when I when I put my arrow. So I go and get a subscription to the New York Times so they could stop putting shit up. Then all of a sudden, now they want me to go on and tell my friends about the New York Times. I am telling them about it, and we're reading the article together. So leave me alone, New York. All right. The Civil Rights Act of 2020. Feel good gestures for politicians and the police. Police, listen, shift, no power. Where you at? Where you at? Let's. I, I I got to highlight that. Shifts no power. Come on, we're gonna put that in. Yeah, there we go. Real change lie within the system overhaul. These are the type of discussions we need to have. It's so nice that y'all wearing y'all kente cloth, taking a knee. That's so nice. But what changes are you proposing, or what changes are we demanding? See, this is a moment of demanding. This ain't a moment of asking. This ain't a moment of being nice. This ain't a moment. You know, I mean, family, listen. Some of, some of us are in positions where we basically had to learn and had to perfect the skill of making white people feel comfortable. I'm saying the day for that shit is over because it's them being comfortable that allows them to support the fuckery of these police departments, the fuckery in politics, the fuckery in the wealth inequality, and all that other shit. People need to be uncomfortable when you come in because they know that you're going to stand up for your people. You're not coming in a mush mouth, you're not coming in whispering, you coming in full-throated, chest out, talking about 
whatever comes from out this room need to affect my people. In America, we are 12%. The, it, it, the only reason that we don't have 12% of the wealth is because barriers were placed to stop us from being able to compete. I am I, I, I believe with my heart, and since there is nothing that could prove me wrong, I believe that if none of those barriers existed, we would have possibly over half of the wealth. Because we are very creative and very ingenuitive people. Ingenuity, how, how you say that word? I don't know. But y'all know what I'm saying. But those barriers was placed there to keep us from being able to compete. They ain't want you to compete. And now they say, well, all that was in the past. Oh, everything has been cleared. No, no, no. Because we could go through each one of these individuals in here and all of them, you know, especially the white ones and some of the other ones in there too, are all recipients of the benefits of your grandfather and grandmother not being able to compete, being froze out, being closed out, not being allowed into the game. The only reason this one right here is rich is because your great-grandfather couldn't compete with her great-grandfather or your great-grandmother couldn't compete with her great-grandmother. All right, but hold on. I'm sorry, I didn't want to take... All right, back to Charles M. Blow. The House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and other members of Congress kneel and observe a moment of silence in Washington on Monday. Let's get ready. Now, this is an opinion piece. There are images of police officers joining protesters and dancing the Cupid Shuffle, taking knees and hugging little girls. There have been images. Shouts out to Maroon, Maroon Arts Group. There have been images of members of Congress, uh, Congress donning kente cloth stoles, Joe Biden taking a knee, and Mitt Romney marching with protesters. There have been images of a rainbow of races and ethnicities marching through the streets with Black Lives Matter posters held high. Of them kneeling in moments of silence of defaced and beheaded, um, of, of defaced and beheaded statues. All of these are feel-good gestures that cost nothing and shift no power. They create no justice and provide no equity. And if we do not, Start talking amongst ourselves and talking amongst our friends. That's all we're going to get. We're going to have a feel-good movement, a feel-good moment. And the blood of making America and, 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 and the sacrificial blood that makes America be able to have this feel-good moment will be the blood of another black man or another black woman. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we... We got the, the whole symbolic stuff because I'm really deep into symbols and I understand the power of symbols and I understand the power of symbols that that can motivate. And then there are also symbols. Symbols has the power to motivate or, or to demotivate or to stop something dead in its tracks. The Democrats in the House and Republicans in the Senate are pondering separate legislative reactions. It is not yet clear if Donald Trump would agree to any of the provisions. The Democratic the Democrats bill predictably goes further than the Republicans plan, but both primarily focus narrowly on police, narrowly on police training and accountability, record keeping and punishment. None of them go anywhere near addressing the real issues. We honestly believe that the issues in America, or, or they want us to believe that the issues in America is just about the police. All those that believe that right now, and all those that, that think that's true, that all of the issues will be solved if we just narrowly focus on police training, accountability, and record keeping and punishment. You know what I'm saying? There's much, much more. Some of it we haven't even thought of yet. Right? But we need to put, put in place what we can so that our children will have some space and some time to enjoy themselves. All right, um, Instagram, y'all about to roll. 
you want to check us out, come over to gnjmedia.live. But these bills, if they pass, are conceived uh, as conceived, will basically punish the system soldiers without altering the system itself. These bills will make the officers the fall guy for the bad behavior, for their bad behavior while doing little to condemn or even address the savagery and voraciousness of the system that required their service. I don't even need to read no farther. Family, go and check out that article. You know what I'm saying? Homeboy is speaking. I don't know what's I don't know what's coming. I don't know what's coming. Right? But we don't even go no need to go no farther. Because we already know. We already know. We are receiving what they call in the street a trick bag. Right? Man, they showing how they, you know, you know, you know how when you, when you breaking up with somebody, you want to make sure, look, it, 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 it's me. It's not you. <laughs> I want, I want you to leave the house feeling good. I want you to leave with some understanding. I know you're not going to get what you want, but I want you to understand and agree with me why you should receive from me what you think I should give you. That's what that shit is about. Come on now. We smarter than that now, aren't we? Right? As a people, to be pushed off like um, an a, a individual that's being let down in a relationship. When you have done everything for this other person, all of a sudden this other person feels that they no longer need you and they're not willing to give you any of the stuff or any of the time back that you had invested in them. It's, it's, it's me. I know it's me. It's not you. And, and I'm not going to change. And I want you to accept it. I want you to understand that. And if you still want to do what we do, you know what I'm saying? But if not, I want you to leave. But I don't want you to be mad. I don't even want you to be disappointed. I just want you to agree with me. That's how they doing us, family. We too old for that now. We've been here 400 years. Come on now. So enough of the symbols. Enough of that. Uh-oh, here we go. Now, I, 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 I spoke about Candace Owens and bitchcraft. And, um... She says black people are the only ones that that uh, that raises up the lowest denominator in our society. Trump rejects renaming military bases named after Confederate generals. Not only do white people lift up the lowest the lowest factor in their society, you know what I'm saying? They love boosting up the loser. The Confederates were not only losers; they had basically rebelled against the United States. So they were some treasonous bastards. And we got military bases named after them. We got schools and streets named after after them. And now, Candace Owens is running around saying that we lift up the lowest denominators in our society. But what in the hell has white people been doing? Not only are they lifting up the, the lowest denominator, they're lifting up losers, treasonous losers. I don't understand. You know what I'm saying? But I bet you she won't say nothing about this shit. At all. We be having a lot of we you know, we be hard on ourselves, family. For 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 shit that we have absolutely no control over. And it needs to stop. It needs to stop. Our aggressive tactics by National Guard ordered to appease Trump wounded the military too. And on here I put a quote because um, an elder told me, if you want to kill a fool, give him a bag full of money, and he will kill himself. And I guess the same is true with power. Donald Trump unleashed the military, whether it was National Guard or whatever. He unleashed the military on protesters in Washington, D.C., so that he could do a symbolic statement, which, in a sense, was some of the dumbest shit that I mean, that got to be one of the dumbest moves that any, any sitting, especially the United States. You understand what I'm saying? But y'all going to read that for yourself. That's New York Times, too. 
We got a, we got a subscription. Um, New York Times, George Floyd protests, live updates, reckoning spreads beyond policing. See, and this is what they wanted to stop at the police because a lot of people are, are comfortable with the idea that it's the police and not them. Y'all got to understand that this is why you got to make people feel uncomfortable when you come in the room. Becoming coming, coming in the room unapologetically black because white people are very, very fat, fragile. They want to be able to point to everything else, but some of their own behaviors. They don't want you. They 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 don't even. Rec, they might not even recognize how they support what's going on out here by them being silent. By them looking for excuses. By them trying to prove that they're, I'm not racist. I have a black friend. I'm not racist. I voted for Obama. The issue is that you're ignoring the history, the true history of America. And this is one of the reasons why there needs to be a true, truly powerful change in the curriculum of our schools because all American children need to understand the role of African people or, or ADOS in building America. I know a lot of people get upset and say, we can't start our history with slavery, brother. I'm not saying that because a lot of that stuff, we have enough people with knowledge to go on and, and, and sure up our children. But we really need, especially in these uh, middle high school and, and especially high school classes, rather than going over Greek history and all that shit, we really need to have in-depth conversations with white, black, with all children that are going to school in, in the United States about what actually what slavery was and what it did and how it propelled America to the position in which America is today so that people could really understand. They can understand the inhumanity of it. They can understand the criminal behavior behind it. They can understand the economic gains and the robberies that went on through it. And they can understand the foundation of some of their family beliefs that they are in right now. Because the only reason that this shit is still going on now is because people are either in denial or they're hiding or they close their eyes or they just tell you straight up you're lying. Come on now. So um, reckoning spread, is, is, it has to spread beyond, beyond policing because police are, are a symptom of the problem. They are not the problem. Trump will return to campaign um, trail with rally in Tulsa. Guess on what day? The only thing I can say is happy Juneteenth. He's going to Tulsa, Oklahoma, family. And I don't even know if you're, listen, this motherfucker is not that dumb. He's going to Tulsa, Oklahoma on Juneteenth. To do his first Trump rally. The president is set to hold his first rally since the coronavirus shuttered. Okay. Okay. Now, watch the ancestors work, family. Just letting y'all know. CrossFit founder quits after backlash to George Floyd tweet. So, he, he tweeted some fucked up shit. And now, the CrossFit piece, they kind of falling off right now. Uh, Columbus black leaders see opportunity for real change. Okay. Go and check out the article. You know what I'm saying? Post up a comment. GOP Ohio State Senator wonders if colored people get COVID-19 from not washing their hands. Let's go. On. I want, let me. I want to click on that. Not to read it. I want to click on it so that y'all can get a good look. Good look. Right. This is what the education system produces. It produces motherfuckers that live in illusion. Right. Surrounded by fuckery and bitchcraft. He cannot see reality for what it is. He can't even see that the fact. That a lot of that more black people are getting coronaviruses because most of us work in fields where we have to be in contact with people. Most of us live in houses with more than one or two or three people. 
A lot of us do. Right? I want y'all to look, right? He honestly, he honestly asked this question. And, and possibly may not even suffer. May not even suffer any consequence. And this motherfucker used this term here. Colored. Colored. Let me highlight that shit in pink for fuckery. When the last time you've been called colored? Colored people. Where is this? This and this is a motherfucker in Ohio. Where is this motherfucker from? And why is that okay? All right, I'm uh, family. I I done spent up enough of your time this morning oh my fault no i didn't a republican witness at the congressional hearing on police brutality didn't miss, mention police brutality so the republicans bring in a motherfucker to talk about police bro, bro, brutality and he doesn't talk about police brutality he spends a lot of time talking about how dangerous policing is and, and, and i want to deal with this piece because as scared as some of these motherfuckers are this has got to be the most dangerous job in the world i'm trying to tell you that police officers must do some i mean when it comes to the bureau of labor statistics they got to be the most dangerous it has to be the most dangerous job on this list so let's let's go down here because everybody talk about the safety of police officers and shit let's go out right, here go to uh, I ain't even got to look. Police is number one. What that say right there? Oh, number one, logging workers. Okay, then they got to be in the top three. I know. I know because the way these motherfuckers be pulling out guns, you know what I'm saying? All the gun fights they be in, all the car chases that they be in, it has to be in the top three. So, okay, fishers and related fishing workers, that's number two. Okay, cool. Number three, aircraft pilots and flight engineers. Huh. Then it got to be within the top five. I've been wrong before. I've been wrong before. So it's roofers. It's number four. So they got to be number four. Refuse, refuse and recyclable material collectors. Okay, then it, it's still, they're still in the top 10. It's a very dangerous, dangerous job. The number one, two, three, four, five. So they're going to be in the top 10. I ain't going to read down because I already know. Driver sales, workers, and truck. Okay. Farmers, ranchers, and other. Okay, structural, iron, and steel work. All right, so it got to be number 10. First line supervisor, construction, construction trades, and extraction workers. Okay. First line supervisor, landscaping, lawn service, and back. So hold on. These motherfuckers is talking about they, they put their life on the line every day. I think loggers put their life on the line every day so that you can sit down on those nice wood chairs that you got in your house. Or eat on that nice wood table, or even use some of the wood that you build fences and build houses with. And the fishermen who go out to sea. So you mean to tell me that these jobs, these jobs are more dangerous than police officers? What? Where is police on this shit? Where is it? Might not even be mentioned, family. These motherfuckers got everybody believing that they're doing the most dangerous job. When these motherfuckers, listen, when they came out to face these protesters in Columbus, these motherfuckers came out just like Iron Man. How dangerous was that? They pushing on people with no protection. These people that they're pushing on in spring have absolutely no protection. These motherfuckers came out with better equipment than the Dallas Cowboys, than the Cleveland Browns combined. Dallas Cowboys and the Cleveland Browns combined. These motherfuckers had hel helmets with, 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 with shields over them, right? Arm pads, shoulder pads, 
full front chest covered, knee pad. These motherfuckers, I swear, I was just, I was just waiting for a motherfucker to turn or took full nine degrees, cause it's almost like RoboCop was out there. Give me a break. How dangerous it is. And then on top of that, you choose that shit. It ain't like you drafted to be a goddamn police officer. Why are you going to the police force if you're going to live in fear? And what's even crazier is that it's not even easy to become a police officer. They give you a psychological test to test. So what? where is this test coming from? Who is running this test? And then who's letting motherfuckers like this get up and talk? Get the fuck out of here. Um, Mitch McConnell's story. A seat at the table, family. Y'all need to go and check out this story because this is about Mitch No Neck McConnell. Go and check it out. Be amazed. My man did an excellent job on this. This is a vice, this is a vice project. They they basically call Mitch out as real good, but they let you know how Mitch operates and 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 how Mitch benefited from government programs and charity and how Mitch in the same breath is taking that same opportunity from whole generations. Come on, fam. Some realistic solution for income inequality. You can check that out yourself. They never mention reparations, so I'm just going I'm just laying that there. Um a wave of layoffs is coming for a hundred thousand a year white collar jobs because right now with everybody being at home uh, businesses are able to evaluate and figure out who is really not needed. <laughs> so this shit is coming back on the roots. Yesterday, Sister Navita did something with a brother by the name of Carlos Christian on prison reform. I thank y'all for your support. 25 views, one shit. Go ahead, fam. But what surprised me yesterday was, you know, DigiTV, 150 people reached, 36 views, 50... 36 engagements, 52 views, 7 shares. Family, y'all showing out. Let me give y'all a round up. This is, this is incredible. And Brother Joe, if you want that, if you want that juice, you better holler at me. The only thing I got left, I got one ginger, ginger grape left. Because I'm um, the person I made it for hasn't been in contact with me, and I don't want to hold nobody else up. All right, so family, this is Brother Hot Tim. I am out. But on my way out, while I'm getting ready, I'm going to eat a little bit of breakfast and stuff like that. I am going to, because somebody asked about the coffee piece yesterday, I am going to share the coffee piece with y'all. Let's do it like that. I'm here to talk to you about the day is agonizing your coffee. Making Giami coffee right now. I call it Giami coffee. Why? Because I can. Coochie Jagalia, shit. So determination. I determined that it's Afghanized coffee. It's my coffee. And this is Giami's coffee. What's mine is Giami's. That's my family. That's my tribe. So I have to represent. So here you go, family, real quick. In order to make this, you're going to need you some ground coffee. Um, I went and got some Allegro coffee from um, Whole Foods. This is light roast, but you get your coffee. You know Shout out to I, uh, Brother I, Nehemiah I, as I, well as Brother Grime. I see y'all out there. Uh, Nehemiah, this for you. This the coffee uh, thing you asked for. Well, you ain't asked for, but you asked about the coffee. Powder. That's in my article, right? That bail about powder. This is the brand that I use. You click the link, it'll take you right there. Um, you're going to need some coconut oil, like that, you see it? Mm-hmm. Uh, straight from Africa, right? Just like the Bay of Our Potter. You know, we're gonna get our link for that and we'll be able to handle that. And of course, you're gonna need a French press. I'm gonna show you how to use this French press in a second, all right? Um, because that's that's probably one of the questions that some of you have, okay? So I'm gonna use this French press. I like using the French press because it gives me a better quality of coffee without all the machinery and it's very simple to use easy to use and get you get the most flavor i mean i get some flavorful coffee because I, I i like my coffee thick and black like myself um i have a water boiler here you know what i'm saying simple water boiler 
and we are going to get started in the process. But there's one ingredient missing. Hold on. You can't have the Africanized coffee. You can't have the Gianni coffee without that ambrosia. Now, you don't necessarily have to have that ambrosia, but you can use this. Now, I'm using, this one is a little bit older, but I was thinking about using an older one because it has a stronger uh, acidity, a stronger uh, vinegar type cut. Not a lot of it, but just enough, right? All right, so let's get started. All right, first up in the process is we want to get our water started, right? So we want to get our water started in this. All right, while we're waiting for the, while we're waiting for the water to boil, I'm going to show you how to set up your French press. Now, okay, you know I do things a little bit differently, and i got to fan all the way down, you know. I could change the angle, but I don't want to do that. I want y'all to catch the reel. So, we got the French press, which is composed of several different pieces. You see the screen in there, which helps keep the coffee um, from spreading into the water, and this is how you separate it. Um, the pressure, uh, once you put this in, you allow it to brew, then you push it down. That screen in there will catch all of the extra coffee and push it down below, allowing the coffee to come up. But you got to let that sit for a couple of minutes. So, I'm going to do this. I only got a little bit left. I like I like my coffee black, right? So here we go. I don't even need the spoon. I'm just going to pour it in here, cover up the bottom, give me a nice amount. This is one of the reasons I got one of those boilers, because if you listen in the back, just like my steamer, it heats up the water fast. I put that amount of coffee in there. You know, for some of y'all that might be too much, for others it might not be enough. Let's throw a little bit more in there. Back up, please. All right, so we got that in there. We're going to let the water come to a boil. I ain't need to put that on there yet. I'm excited. All right, so let's move, to, let's move to the next step, okay? The next step of the process, if you have time. Now, you can stir it with your hand. But to really get the nice smoothness and get everything together and broken down, you're going to need to use a blender. So I'm going to use a blender, right? So what I'm going to do is prepare what needs to go in the blender. What's going to go in the blender is the bell bar powder, this, the coconut oil, and a little bit of ambrosia. So let's do each one at one at a time. Here we go. Hold on. So we're going to start with that, oh, that premium coconut oil. Now, for those of you that's trying to lose weight, one of the reasons I use this is because the body likes fats. And one of the um, foods that is, has a lot of fats is vegetable oils. I know some of y'all swear the oils off, but I like the oils, right? I love the oils. So I'm going to pour a little bit of this in here. I don't do the measurements. Y'all are going to measure, depending on your taste, how much you want in there, right? Because you taste a, a you taste a coconut flavor. Now I imagine that I could actually use some actual coconut or even some coconut milk, but I like the oil. Then also we're gonna take some of this powder, and one of the reasons I like blending it is because this powder will clump up. It finds its own kind, and it likes to clump up. And you know, I want to break that down so that we can get us a nice smoothness. Now. This right here, if you read my article, it talks about a lot of benefits. Now, one of the reasons that I, because one, you can put this in the coffee and let it do that, but I like the aspect, the fiber aspect of this, right? And it's a prebiotic, so I'm trying to get a lot of those fibers into my diet, or a, um, a lot of fiber to, to, to feed my microbiome. Now, the microbiome, those that's been following the Jamie journey, y'all know. That I love talking about that microbiome, right? Because that is one of the key pieces to help that a lot of people are missing. All right? Now, so, I'm going to take a little bit of the ambrosia, throw it in there. Mm. All right. I think I'm going to put some old ambrosia in here too, just, just, to, just to level it off. Hold on. All right, right here, what we have is some. Um, old ambrosia. As you can see, it's still got dust on the bottom. It has a nice vinegar taste. It's got a little 
fast, and I know some of y'all swear off acid and all that. Okay, that's on you. I'll take all your on all the acid that you don't use. So we're gonna allow this to wait for the coffee. And the thing I like about this is that this water boiler, it don't be messing around. So I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna pour the water into. Here. Oh, you see that? Boom. We're going to allow that to sit. And to kind of seal it off so it can do its thing, actually, let's do a little gentle stir. Do a little gentle stir. Use a nice little skillet. Get down there. Kind of mix it up. You know, they say use plastic. What the hell? Yeah, I mean, Jeremy, we define, we define the world for ourselves, right? So we getting busy. All right. Ooh, nice, strong coffee. All right, so now, on this right here, you have right here, see that where you pour? That has helped strain as well. But I don't want that showing when I'm putting it in here because I want it to kind of, just sit up there and sit with itself. And we will be back in a couple of minutes, right, to, we're going to allow a lot of coffee to do its thing because I'm saying about five to seven minutes. And we will be right back. I'm thinking it's ready. It's kind of, it's still kind of hot, but we can take it and you can press it down. That's why they call it the French press. I did about five to ten minutes. Let it get nice and black. Look how black that is. Look at that. Look at that. You can't see through that shit. Man, I like my coffee black. No cream, no sugar, right? So one of the things I like. Oh, hold on. I gotta turn it around to the holes where you pour. See how different the pour is? You see how the grounds are stuck at the bottom? Now, see why I like that? You know, you throw them grounds away. I know some of y'all like to use those grounds, but they've been pressed out. You know what I'm saying? We'll press everything out of them we can get. So, we, you get a nice little thing that looks like this. You're going to take it. The oil is already melting and coming to the top. And what we're going to do. We're going to move to the blender. Here we go. All right. Do that. Something I forgot. I need the top to the blender or something. It's real life here at Gianni Journey, so I can't keep the top of a blender. My kids be doing experiments and doing their own shows. So here we go. Peace. 
important goddesses were black, not just for the African now, in the civilization of the Greeks. The Greek was so profoundly affected by the African that the goddess of chastity was a black woman, Artemis. The goddess of wisdom was a black woman, Minerva. The goddess of beauty was a black woman, Diana. And many of their great mythological figures which were critical to the vision of history, the history of the Greeks in the Odyssey, the woman who draws, who has the power to draw Odysseus and all his crew into her is Circe, who is represented as a black woman with African features on the Greek vases. The woman who helps Jason win the golden fleece is a black woman, Medea. The woman who marries Perseus, the Greek hero, is a Cash girls among swine, it's just a waste of time. Cause they can't see you shine when you walk amongst the blind. Even when you reflect divine, divine word from the wise. 